I am Harper. I am Sarah. And we are going to do a potato clock today. We are going to unleash the power of potatoes. So we got this at the store. It's Eco Science. And it says that you'll be shocked when you see the digital clock operating using not batteries, just Potato power! We've never opened this before, so this is all new. Um, alright. So, so, um, I really like the packaging here. It's really nice. We've got, I think this is, I think this is tape, and some metal and a wire. Here's our cups. Uh, Two parents, read all instructions before providing guidance to your children. Please read through these instructions before you start. Adult supervision and assistance are required at all times. Good thing we are both grown adults. Intended for children aged 8 and upwards. Okay, anyway, what we have is the clock. Ooh, it's got like a little stand. It's got wires, a digital clock with wires. Assemble a connection pair by connecting the pair of copper and zinc plates with the connection wire as shown. Okay, okay so one of each. I don't know if you can see this, but some of them are silver and some that, of them are copper. copper. That's yeah. Nice. Wait, white wire, white wire. We're using white wire. Well, this is the only wire it gave us, so we're going to use yellow wire. Yellow wire. And I'm just throwing it through, and it's like an earring. You yeah. can the other end. Here you go. Okay, but steering. Stick it through, and then it has like these, it, they're really in right now. So mm. we've done this kind of, we accidentally broke it but that's okay. So next we're going to do this part. And it says on the thing, zinc to black. So you can do the zinc to black. Zinc to black, I thought that And then it right. says red to copper. Oh, okay, so we're supposed to put the tape around the wire. Because remember kids, if you're under eight, you can't use this. So you get a lot of extra tape, I guess, because this is really crappy tape. Hey, no, it's good. Good tape. If you want to reenact it with the same kit, go to Five Below. If you don't want to use the same kit and you want to make your own, have fun finding a clock. Okay. So here's the, okay. Maybe the potatoes are too high up. Yeah, why are they in these cups? I didn't know what they were for. So, both of our potatoes are pierced once. So now we're going to like, conjoin twin them. Excuse me? Oh, so I stick it in the eyes. I'll find a perfect little eye right here. Here's an eye. Is our potato, is our clock working? Can you tell us? Is it, <gasps> oh it is! How do we set it? Oh, it's upside down. What? Um, oh. How, five below. We unleashed the power of the potato! And it says we can do other stuff. I'm not gonna set the clock, but it gives you instructions to do that. Let's explain um, how exactly uh, this works. Oh yeah, because we know exactly how it works. So potatoes, okay, have you ever grown a potato? No. If you grow one, there's a battery in the middle. And we're connecting to that. Here is how it works for real though. The metal strips in the potato make a simple battery that creates electricity to operate the clock. Each potato works as a device called an electrochemical cell. Um, There's cells in potatoes. It's, what it's doing is it's converting the energy in these strips into energy. So it's like taking what's in these strips and it's like mixing them and sending it to the clock. Cool. Let's try and do it on other stuff. I'll just do what I did in AP Biology. Pretend I know exactly what she's saying and... We've produced a natural soda. It is... I think lemon lime. No, no, it's lime orange. And now we're gonna put it in these. Oh, we probably get to use the cups. Okay. This is a good video. Okay. So we're gonna see if our soda has power, or if it's gonna like corrode these strips and we'll never be able to use again. So I'm dealing with this potato. Okay, you guys, tell us if it's working. Leave a comment, I'm joking. It's like 18. Cool. Oh, cool, look. It's saying 12 o'clock, but you know, we can pretend it says 18 for Harper's sake. <laughs> look, it's turning on and off. We bought this in America. Land of the free. 
Yeah, because we're free and we can buy potato clocks here. So what else can we use it for? Since we use the cups, let's pour something weird in the cups. Like milk. So now we have a plate and ketchup. And we are going to... Oh. Oh. Okay. So now we are going to... Ugh. Ugh. So this is in case you get ketchup all over your nice new Hawaiian shirt. You can you make harness walk out of it. <laughs> this is working out really well. Oh no. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it actually works. It, it actually... works! I bet it's like because it's tomato. Wait, it actually says 18 o'clock. But look, it works! Ketchup power! What else can we do this on? Milk. Yeah. So now we're gonna do all this milk. It doesn't work! Mm. Milk sucks! Mm. Don't drink it, it can't conduct it. Can you explain why it Oh wait, it works. Work. What? It works! Kind of. I don't know why it works less than the others. Maybe Harper can explain. Milk sucks. That's it! Thank you for watching! This has been a very complicated experiment, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see more complicated experiments.